Hello, hello. So, I just wanted to say that, um, as I've gotten older, first of all, I believe in God. I, I believe in the creator of all. I believe that there's a creator that created all of this in us. I believe in Jesus Christ being the Son of God. But, as we all know, even if you believe in the biblical story, you know, there was a human being that gave birth to Jesus. And I, I, I totally believe in that. However, I'm not too sure about the Almighty God being the white-haired white man in the sky. I believe he's in the sky. But I believe he might look a little bit different than we anticipate. Or I should speak for myself that I anticipate or anticipated because I'm kind of getting the idea now that maybe God is something that we would determine as alien and I don't mean any blasphemy I just mean what if what if God was an alien and he still sent Jesus down. He still made that happen. If God was everything that we, or let me speak for me again, I'm sorry. If God was everything that I anticipate, that whole essence of goodness, kindness, love, positive energy, all forgiving, welcoming, all of that. If God is just, and God is that, then that's what I follow, and that's what I believe, and I don't care what that looks like. How difficult is it for me now to believe that the Almighty that I refer to as God might be from out of this planet. What if God is an alien, an extraterrestrial, of all extraterrestrials, of all beings? Because I believe that God is that. He created it all. He had to have created that too. And now there's like evidence that there's actually, you know, aliens that have come down here. And um, it's not such a secret anymore. How would that change things? How would that be? I mean, if you really think about it, look at everything around us. Everything. I don't care where you are right now. Look around you. You're going to see something that is man-made. That was made out of concrete, metal, um, rubber, anything that you look at. Even inside of your car, look at all of the materials that are inside of just the interior of your car. And then think about the engine of your car. All of that would have come from this earth that only had land and only had um, the sky and water from the oceans and water from the sky and sun and that's it so how do we have things like stop signs rubber wheels you know I know the dinosaurs with the oil I get it, right? The fossil fuels, I get it. But seriously, seriously, what about like light? What about like the light bulb? If you look at everything, can you imagine being on this earth? Or just picture yourself on an island. Picture yourself on an island and there's nothing man-made on that island. What could you build? Maybe you could build a little hut. 
but are you going to build things that are electrical without electric? I mean, if you don't have it, how do you build it? How are you going to do that? Starting from sand, earth, I mean, because that's the way it was. That's what we're led to believe, right? That's what we're told. To me, as I'm getting older and maybe more cynical, though I still get on my knees and pray to God, what about the theory of these ancient aliens? What about the hieroglyphics of the spaceships and the alien beings? Why couldn't that have happened? Why couldn't the same God just have a different exterior than what I thought? Still coming from the heavens, right? I think that there has been a cycle of civilizations that have come on this earth before we got here. I think we're just one of those civilizations. So I don't have any issues with anything here. You know, this is Toddy One Skip Issues With. I'm questioning something. Issues with questions about religion. There you go. That's my Toddy One Skip. Guys, I'm just trying to record, you know, as often as possible. Things that are on my mind, thoughts. And this is something that has really, um, has really come to uh, confuse me. And not in a bad way. I don't feel shaken by this. If this theory was right and the God that I pictured in my head was, you know, wrong, that's okay because I wasn't in love with the picture in my head. I was in love with and in awe of and praying to and continue to the essence of goodness and greatness. I mean, just greatness and all-powerful, and that still exists with this new theory. I never thought the two connected. I kind of always thought, how does that work? You know, like, who's making that up there? If there's something going on, if there's other, like, beings, if there's ETs, who's in charge of that? But as I've gotten older, I started questioning things, things that were like, how did that happen? Or how did that happen? Or just wondering. So my theory, the theory that I'm questioning is very fluid. A couple weeks ago, there was a live and it was broadcast. And it was broadcast by the major news channels. And it was a government Um, hearing about the truth behind foreign objects in the sky and many people that are pilots and in the Air Force and in the military have seen this have seen these spacecrafts these um, beings they have and now it's becoming public knowledge where you don't people don't like cock their heads a little bit when you start speaking of things outside of our earth it's more believable now because well supposedly there's tangible proof of even the beings that aren't of this earth. It doesn't make me live my life any differently. I still want to please the Almighty because I am here because of the Almighty. I wonder how many people that do believe in God will entertain this theory, look into it. Why would it be so impossible? To me, that's more possible that's more believable to how we have we have things. I mean, we, we, we have things. And there is a huge gap in the timelines of 
what happened on this earth. Like we went from building pyramids to erecting skyscrapers. There is a massive, like we just have electric way after the pyramids, but people are drawing and um, drawing spacecrafts and building pyramids that we're just understanding the math from. So how does that happen? I mean, that's science. That's facts. You could look at that. That's tangible. You could touch it. How'd that happen? Thousands of years ago. Without the technology that we have today. So what I'm saying in all of this is, what do you think about it? I'd love to start a discussion about this because this fascinates me. So tell me what you think. Toddy One Skip issues with the big questions. That's what we're going to call this one, the big questions.